everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. It's 3 in the morning. We finally got our patch notes and it is a juicy one. I just scrolled down. I am shocked. Uh, usually I don't like to peek, but I, I needed to know. I needed to know before I checked. So let's just talk about what's going on. First off, we have our Desert Jewel Basar coming out here. I'm still not sure on him yet. He looks really great. His skills look great. He looks fun to use. He has a panther of sorts. Um, I'm not sure if you should summon for him yet. I'm honestly just not sure. I think he's one of the ones we really need to see how he plays out. Um, I'm going to be summoning for him for sure just because I really like desert husbandos and desert waifus like the Egyptian style. Is that the right word? I guess just desert is the right word. Um, so I will be summoning for him. I have 4,000 mystics to spend, but I will not be summoning unless he shares a five star with one I need. So somebody like a Charles, somebody like Luluka, um, like who else? Like Kron, uh, basically a five star character I don't have. That's the only way I will summon for ML5s at this point uh, with my mystics. Um, another one I really want is regular Basars. So uh, either one of those would work. You can see all the things here. Nothing has changed with him. Uh, he looks really fun. He's got the AoE heal. He's got... Um, he's just got a little bit of everything. I'm not sure if he's kind of got like a boring skill set. Uh, but he, he looks good. But this is the part we want to talk about. We have our Molagora enhancement and skill improvements coming. And I'm just going to say I was wrong. I was hard wrong. Not even like slightly wrong. But I was incredibly so far wrong that it's kind of unbelievable and i'm um shocked i'm i'm straight up shocked so i was in the camp that expected three star molagoras to take roughly fifty thousand stigma like that was what i expected it to take uh because i figured they would be heavily monetizing the stigma and i figured that um they didn't want everybody to max everything for three stars but it turns out they do they do want us to max everything and I can't actually believe it, but it is flipping 8,100 stigma to max a three star. That is insane. So that basically means any three star you ever use, even if you're just picking up the game and you're summoning and you've got a Terranor Royal Guard and you want to use them, um, it's, it's worth it to use that first couple stigma here for like 500 stigma. I'm um, not even 500 for 390 stigma. You can get two skill ups on his skill one. Like... I don't know, that's insane. That's such a good change. And I am, again, every time a new patch comes out with this game, I'm just shocked of their uh, willingness to cooperate, you know, and give us the things we need and want. So this is insane. I fully, fully, fully expected somewhere in the range of um, 50,000 to max a character, but it's literally 8,100. Like I, I can't even, I can't even, I can't right now. I, I just don't even know what to say. So, I was worried before that I would have to max my uh, Montmorency uh, for Guild Wars, and that was basically all I would have room for. But now I've got enough to max like 10 or 11 three stars right now. So um, things I'm going to be doing, I'm absolutely going to be uh, finishing Jenna's skill one. I'm not going to do her skill two or skill three, but I'm going to max her skill one. I'm also going to max Montmorency as every other player should. I'm also probably going to... Um, level up and build Clurry. I'm also considering um, Arrowell uh, because, you know, um, we've just got to give her a shot, you know, we've got to protect. Uh, and sometimes you've just got to, you just got to give, give the girl some love. Look at that face right there. Uh, another person I'm curious about, I guess, is the word is Butcher Corpse Inquisitor, the um, Chaos Inquisitor version. And there's a ton of others. A anyway, I will have a three star mola video out in the next couple days i would say not tomorrow um but the day after is when i expect it to be done just talking about which units i think will be useful to three star molagora and which ones might be useful to six star um so that's that's like hats off to them i'm shocked and i'm sure a lot of people are the general consensus of the twitch stream uh with like 400 people there when we talked about it and we talked about it a lot over this last couple weeks was um most people seem to expect it would take 20 to 30,000. And then um, a lot of the more vocal people, like myself, kind of expected it to take 50,000 because the vocal people are the ones that play a ton and realize we have basically infinite stigma. So 
Um, it really is a shock. I, I didn't see one person guess under 10,000. So um, I'm actually like, <laughs> I don't know how many times I can say it. So I'm going to stop saying it. And I find this really funny because uh, they show Arrowell as the reset skiller. And if there's one thing I'm disappointed at, is that it's a reset skill, it's not a uh, recall. So I can't actually recall my um, Curious. So what I'm gonna do is reset Curious's skills because I do have a plus seven or something Curious, and then I'm just gonna fodder her. I might not even fodder her, I might just send her home um, out of frustration, to be honest. Um, so you will be able to reset all your three-star skills and make sure you do this because you will get the Molagora back instead of um, whatever it takes now. 27 Molagora versus 81. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Um, okay, that's insane. And the other thing too is before it was taking 42 Molagora to max and now it's taking 33. So uh, reduction of approximately 20% will be getting that refund as well by the looks of things. Um, I have 215 now, so I'm going to be at least getting 18 Molagora back. I expect to get somewhere in the neighborhood of like 50 to 90 back. Maybe a little less because I don't buy the Mola packs. Maybe like 70 back. Uh, I don't know, but it's a lot. Um, it's a it's a lot. So I'm basically going to be able to... God, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed with how many Molagoras we have now. And that is a good thing. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to log in and spend them all right away somebody's gonna make me use them on the can i didn't summon um okay what else do we have here uh and exchange improvements information okay so we're just showing some more visual things here Kickerat, our boy girl robot Kickerat is another one i really 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 want to put some mullahs into Kickerat, but i'm kind of worried right now because I feel like uh, SSB just kind of bodies kicker at, like in a bad way. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to give kicker at some Mola love right off the bat uh, because I feel like SSB just like literally decimates him. Um, try again, that's a cool button. Labyrinth, uh, the story will Im be improved, interesting. An issue where a hero's dual attack misses despite not being debuffed will be fixed. Okay, that's cool too. Um, Automaton Tower. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. Please note these rewards are only for October. So um, what is changing? What is changing? Level 65 necklace. Same? I'm really confused. Is, is this the same as before? Or is this... Um, I, f I feel like that's worse than before. Is it not? Am I am I really confused here? Let me let me check my uh, my pieces from last reset. I think they were seventy eight, right? Yeah, they were seventy eight. So why is it sixty five now? I'm sure I'm just missing something here. Let me let me read it because anytime I feel like I'm missing something, I get yelled at. Um, these rewards are only for October. Interesting. So maybe like we're getting the chest here and then we're getting an additional 65 neck. Oh, I think I know what happened. I think I know what happened. So um, when the tower was giving the wrong rewards, that's these ones in the red, I'm guessing. And some people got them already, question mark. And then um, they're just giving it to everybody now. And then the, the regular chests are right here. I think that's what this is saying. I could be wrong, but I, I guess we'll see when we log in tomorrow. I'm sure they don't even know with uh, how their fixes roll out lately. We might be at like negative floor 6,000 in tower or something like that. And it might take all my, our sky stones at this rate. Um, crack in the world. Okay. Written and blood will be adjusted. Oh, there's a limited entry. In. Okay, I don't really get that. Um, okay, game on contents will be changed for improved character. Clarity, I can't speak. It's three in the morning. Leave me alone. There will not be any functional changes. Okay, so this is just clearing out how effectiveness and effect resistance works. And of course, the first thing I see going into here is somebody asking for Apocalypse Ravi buff. Of, co of course, that's the first thing I see when I go in here. That's hilarious. Uh, wow, so this was... This is a patch. This is a patch. This is going to shake things up. Like, I honestly... um. 
I honestly, can I go like this? Yeah, I honestly like don't know what's gonna go on with this, but um, there are there are some three star units I want to build. Like 8200 means I can definitely build carrot. Uh, that's exciting. I will be plus 15 in carrot. I will definitely be plus 15 in uh, Montmorency. I will definitely be plus 15 in uh, Lorena. Um, there's a couple others. Like I think I'm bringing Clurry back. Uh, Chaos Inquisitor looks like somebody that will be really good, but I'm not sure. I, I'm unsure of him, but I feel like he will be really good now with all the things, and especially with higher end gear, I, I think he might be a monster. Um, Jekt is going to be insane for uh, Banshee, even more so than before, and it's easy now to put those Molagoras in. Absolutely insanely easy. Like, there's so many good options here. This is just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Um, hopefully next step they allow us to uh, give out some four-star Mulagoras a little easier. Uh, but for now, this is good. I also want to see if there's anything else here because there's always things hidden. Uh, let me just double check here. So we have announcement um, an hour ago, an hour ago, four hours ago. Anything else? Active events. That's November 14th. That's his, that is 2018. I don't think we need active events from 2018. Um, okay, so let's see if we got anything else. So we have the update info. We have Moonlight Hero. We have Automaton Tower. Um, I thought I saw somebody say that we're going to be getting burning time. Uh, if we do, that's something that's awesome, and I'm really looking forward to that because that means... Is it hidden right here? No. Hero Compendium, Desert Jewel Basar, Arky's Buff of it. There we go. God, this is... Like, I shouldn't have to search your forums and still not see where anything is. But here we go. So we're getting the double rune drop, double hunt drop rate. Make sure you have enough stamina to go ham on these days. It is insane. This is absolutely the day you want to play all day long if you can. This is the day everybody's going to be getting their carrot. You're going to see infinity people farming their carrots these days too. Uh, it's going to be great. Anyways, this is it for now. I'm going to go to sleep. I will talk to you all tomorrow. I will be doing some shenanigans on stream tomorrow if you want to come say hi and ask some questions. Thank you so much for everything. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye, everybody.